It's over. <laughs> okay? Chicago season's over. I'm glad. Alonzo Ball, who's been out since mid-January, had that meniscus procedure on his knee. I'm told he's likely going to be shut down for the season now. He tried to ramp up a couple of different times. The most recent time, he's still feeling discomfort in that knee. The Ladies and gentlemen, Lonzo Ball's recent knee injury has the Chicago Bulls looking like they have completely fallen apart, ladies and gentlemen. The Bulls are just, they're, they're a mess, man. The, the Bulls, it's over. You understand? Just, just, just like Stephen A. has said, just like we've all been saying, you know, and we've been saying this for a while now, but it's starting to really seem even more evident. You know, the Bulls, man, are the six seed in the Eastern Conference, ladies and gentlemen. They have a date with destiny, ladies and gentlemen. They could be facing, I believe, the, the uh, Boston Celtics or possibly even the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, the Philadelphia 76ers, they done put the candle to their ass multiple occasions. That's a team, I don't, I don't know if I want to face them just the way they was killing us. You know, um, to be honest with you, I don't know if we want to face any of these teams because the Bulls don't have a good record against any of them. Let's be real. Even when they were healthy, they struggled against some of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. And that with Lonzo Ball being out is is just even ugly. You know, uh, you got to, not only is Lonzo Ball out for the rest of the season, Zach Levine is hammered right now. Something's going on with him. You have a situation a situation with my man Caruso. He's he's dealing with a back injury. You got uh, Patrick Williams coming back from his situation, and Demar Derozan. Like it's almost like. Um, it's almost like he's a prisoner of coming out to such an early start. You know, the guy came out firing, you know, and it seemed like it's all catching up to him right now. It's like, um, just like um, a lot like people are saying, they've come back to the pack almost, you know. This team is just, it, it's crazy what, what's happened to the Bulls, just the, just the way, it just, if you just go step by step by step, just coming out to the regular season looking like they're a championship player, then just diminishing year by year by year, just a constant diminish. You understand? Uh, it, it, it was completely crazy how bad they was diminishing. You know, um, it's unbelievable. But I got a question for y'all. Do y'all think the Chicago Bulls, can they salvage this season? You know, is there anything that they could do to get themselves back in play? You know, me personally, I think absolutely not. I think the season is all but done with because they put themselves in such a nasty hole. You understand? Pause. I'm just saying you can't, you can't just plummet down the standards like this and just just poof, you just right back in motion. You understand? It just don't work like that. It's clearly something going on with this basketball team, with this organization. You know, um, they got a date with a first round exit. Now, me personally, it could it could be a gentleman's sweep. Um, if they go down those first two games, you you've playing with fire because you could possibly get swept. Especially if they're going up against a team like Philadelphia, a team like even Boston. Boston is one of the hottest teams in basketball right now. They're going to be no slouch, you understand, the face. You know, going in these hostile buildings is going to be hell on earth. Uh, rolling in Philadelphia with that raucous crowd. Rolling in any of these uh, crowds. Uh, I don't see Chicago shocking anybody. I see the Bulls just losing in the first round. And it has a large part to do with Lonzo Ball being out. We all know what Lonzo Ball was bringing to this table, bringing to the table for this basketball team, man. He was just, I wouldn't say a perfect fit, but he was on that way to it. You know, it was almost like the glue to make sure everything was in line. And once Lonzo, Lonzo's been out, now you're starting to see all the deficiencies highlighted even brighter. You understand the isolation play that they were doing even in the midst of having a number one seed in, in the NBA. They had the number one record in 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 the, in the East, and they were and they were still, um, pardon me, and they were still um, they were still playing this isolation style basketball, you know. Uh, but 
nobody complained because the winds continued to stockpile. You understand? So now you start to see, oh my goodness, what is DeMar doing? Oh, well, what the hell is going on with Zach? Oh, what's going on with with, that, with Caruso? What's going on with uh, Kobe White or Io? And now you start to see all of these things just getting just highlighted, and it's ugly. You understand? It's nasty and it's ugly. You know, but nonetheless, man, the Bulls they got to get out this hole. You know, uh, the playoffs is approaching. Nobody's gonna feel sorry for them. Not only are they not gonna feel sorry for them, they're gonna try to annihilate them. You know, Lonzo Ball is not coming out that door. And what, what kind of performance are they going to get from Zach Levine? Because Zach is coming in hobbled. You understand? He's coming into the postseason hobbled. Can, what the hell is going to happen? You understand? Because he's got a lot riding on. His contract is coming up. he got issues going on as well. Because he, another thing, he, he's going to receive a little bit of criticism if he comes out here and flames out. It won't just be tomorrow. Pardon me. It won't just be DeMar DeRozan getting all of the uh, flack. You understand? Zach Levine will receive some criticism because at the end of the day, you got a lot of money coming up. You understand that you possibly could be receiving and you, you come out here and you don't perform. Oh, man, it's not going to be a good look for you. You know, but it is what it is. The sixth seed, man, at least you were able to avoid the playing. They avoided the playing by just a, a hair on their skin, ladies and gentlemen. That's how... That's how bad the Bulls have plummeted, where they literally could have been in the play-in. They just avoided the play-in. Just by the hair of their skin, they avoided it. You know, so this is nothing to applaud. This is not nothing to be happy about. This is a this is a situation where you need to be disgusted because they had it. You know, um, I think they need to get we're ready for next season. You know, uh, I think there's a lot of optimism rolling in the next season because minus the Lonzo situation, the Bulls completely have just lost their swagger. They need to figure out how can they recreate that hunger, that swagger, that drive that they had to start this regular season. They need to figure out a way they could recreate that rolling in the next season. I think that's where they need to be focused with is next season because it's not going to end well in the playoffs. And I think they're starting to come to terms with that. You know, um, the heroics of DeMar, I think he can get you one, you know, because I think that's why I'm saying gentlemen sweep over just a flat-out sweep. I think DeMar DeRozan is going to be able to get you one. He's going to have the deck stack against him. He, he is the kind of guy that's going to try to go in there and do it, but look at the teams that he's going to face. The first round matchup, I, I wanted them to be the other way around. You know, I, I didn't expect them to not only not have home court advantage, but completely fall out like that. I thought they would have had an easier first round matchup. Come to find out, not only are you not going to have home court advantage at all, but you're going to be starting the first round off against a heavyweight. Boston, Philly, you know, nobody expected that. You could have you could have even snuck up on Milwaukee. You understand, even though it, it, these things that could have been a possibility. That's how horrible they plummeted. They could have ended up in the plan. That shows you the power of Lonzo Ball and everything. How he impacts this team. How he impacts this organization. You understand, Lonzo Ball is more important than most people believe and think. But we're gonna leave it at that. It's Flight Sports TV. Pay heavy homage. You already know. Lonzo Ball, man. <laughs> if he hasn't been even more important, you understand? I hope it's even more evident now because the Chicago Bulls have completely fallen apart. And it's clear. It's evident. There's no debating. It's flight sports.